Hola familia, this week I'm going to make a review of my new lathe. This is a Grizzly G0766. It's brand new uh, in the market, right? But first of all, I have to be clear, this is not sponsored, sponsored or whatever from anybody. Nobody paid me for it. This is my lathe where I paid in full. So. Uh, I will give you my humble opinion of it and base it on the experience with all the lathes and, and let's see how it goes. Well, first of all, <clears throat> I'm going to leave down below, I'm going to leave uh, a link to the full specification sheet. sheet. So, so, if anybody is interested in, in seeing all of it, but I'm going to talk about some of them that I consider that are the most important ones, right? Okay, <clears throat> first of all, the, the lathe is a, uh, have a three phase, three horsepower motor. It uses a delta inverter to make this three phase, it makes two, two 20 volts uh, single phase, right? So you have to make a little change in your electricity to have a, two, a 220 plug to use it no that complicated but I suggest that an electrician do that better than, do, than you do yourself if you don't know exactly what you are doing okay there's uh, some risks so I don't want to you know anybody have a problem with that okay the <clears throat> the specifications are like that three horsepower motor it's a 22 inches uh, it's a 2242 it means that you can turn up to 22 inches in diameter. I think it's a little bit too much, but it's very good to have the ability to do that. And when I say that it's a little bit too much, is because I'm I'm this kind of person that thinks that push your machines to the limit is not safe, right? Okay, so you can you can turn 42 inches in between centers. Something that I don't do because this is mostly for make uh, table legs and chairs and all this stuff that I I don't do. I usually do more decorative stuff, so more bowls and goblets and this this kind of things. So I don't need that that long or that length. So what I did is you can move the head along the bed. So what I did is move it a little bit in. I'm losing this distance, but on the other hand, the motor don't go too much out from the bed, and I have more space at my little workshop, right? Okay, uh, then the thread of the axis is one and a quarter by eight TPI. It's one of the most common in here in the United States. Uh, instead of the metric 33 by 3.5, which is one-way lathes and most uh, European ones. Okay. Then, if you can, see, you can see here. I'm gonna try to close a little bit. Okay. If you see here, you have four holes. This big one is to lock the head in place. Just that this way you can lock it. This is a system that I had in my previous. My last lathe in Spain was a Lehman Tab TAB120, which is a twin of the Grizzly G733. And this have a problem. It's a little bit, uh, the direction is a little bit down. So when you do something, as you can see, it moves, and with a little bit of vibration, it will fall, right? So this is uh, something that I don't understand why. Uh, they still use, but out of that, the other three holes allows you to use 36 uh, indexing points. Uh, it mostly use it to to use the rotor and some you know decoration for your pieces or whatever. And uh, and one important thing, the specification sheet that comes with the lathe says that the bed is 10 inches wide. Right. This is not true. 
and this is the, the bigger complaint I have complaint I have about it. But I, I already know that it, it is no way to have ten inches. Ten inches is this wide. The lathe have exactly seven inches, right? I suppose that is a typography or whatever mistake, but it's good to know, right? It's seven inches wide. And then there is another detail that is the tool rest post is 25 millimeters, not one inch, right? So no one extra tool rest that you buy or whatever in one inch is going to fit. So you will have to re uh, touch it a little bit with a grinder or whatever. Uh, after this specification, I decide to, to make like two blocks, one with the positive thoughts and one with the negative ones. Uh, in the positive one is that it's a sturdy machine, it's a 496 pounds weight, so it's heavy. I had the opportunity in the last week to make two big bowls and uh, no vibration at all. I think I'm not going to have to load it with more weight, which is nice. Uh, the other thing that more, most surprised me was the finish of the machine. The bed is absolutely smooth. You cannot see one single mark from the end mill using to, you know, let's use it to, to set it up. It's absolutely smooth chamfer in the in the size of the bed so it's you know it's well kept uh, it's very quiet as you can let's see it's a quiet machine not noisy at all we are at 2300 rpms the noise is not bad uh, you can feel no vibration, absolutely nothing. So I think in that, at that point it's very, very nice. Then, as I saw in, in previous slates, this one has two speed ranges. The speed ranges are from 100 to 1200 and from 330 to 3200, right? And this is done by a belt with two pulleys. Okay, one of the improvement is the system to to move the motor, which is just a quick release uh, lever and another lever that is attached to the motor so you can easily go up and down. But another one that I think Grizzly hear the people in the for, uh, forums and all that stuff is that the, the door that in most models like the G0632 that I have over there have just two screws or come with a hinge like this and a screw up here this one have a bolt that you can unscrew by hand so the access to the two pulleys that you have inside here is absolutely easy you don't need any other tool to do that then you just go back screw it and you are, you are done so, very, very nice. And, of course, one of the most important stuff is the price. Okay? This lathe, in compared with uh, other, this size lathe is really half the price, more or less. So, it's very good. What I don't like? Well, I don't like... There is not really serious things. It's, there, are, there is stuff that I possibly do in a different way. One of the things is that it's too tall. And I say that because I think they are using the same legs that are used in the 733. If you are 5 inches, which is 2.5 inches here, your center goes up 2.5 inches. I'm 5 feet uh, uh, 11, so and this is about two inches over the optimum height for me. Well, it's no big deal. You can possibly make a, a base, right, for for you to for me to stand up in there. 
problem in my case is this this garage is to have I have to to get my car inside in the evening so I cannot do that base or I have to remove it every day so or and then uh, the leveling uh, the leveling uh, feet or yeah the leveling feet it had uh, have the, the screw too short and you cannot finally when you have to rise up a little bit to level the, the lathe you cannot block it on top at the end, it's not, it's not, you know, as you can see, these are very small details. Another one, and this one is a little bit, concerns me a little bit more, is if you see the tool rest, this is in, in, in its lower position, it's about a quarter of an inch under the dead center. Which means when you intend to make a big, a, a bowl, and you get a big tool, 5-8 tool for example and you drop down the, the handle your tool is always is going to be sure above the center which is not good so it means I need or well, yeah, I need to lower down the, the tool rest how I'm going to do that I don't know yet possibly using another one but because it's 11 inches in here not every uh, tool rest that you can you can find in the market is going to work so uh, this is something that concerns me a little bit but as I said it's not really serious serious uh, negative things another one is the pint this is a this is a cast iron machine right so we cannot expect that the pint is going to be the same quality of a car one it's not okay it has small dents, not in the, in the main part of it, but in the edges, you can see small dents. But it's not very, you know, it's not too serious, but it is. So, as it is, I, I say it. So, in conclusion, I think that is a really good machine for the price. That is big and sturdy enough to use it for years and and if I have to think about my previous experience with the with the brand with my other lathe that is over there I was working in it for seven months and it's like first day absolutely perfect and my before that one I have one in Spain that is a twin as I said it's a twin from the civil uh, zero, zero seven three three <clears throat> and I had it for years and it works perfect for years and our twins come I, I'm pretty sure they come from the same factory so I think it should be with me for years and I hope so right and uh, the little defects I can see on it can be easily fixed so are not that important or not that big to be concerned about it so I hope I did uh, a good buy this time. Well, this is what I what I want to share with you this week. <clears throat> I hope you find this video interesting or at least helpful somehow. If you need any other information, that anything that you might require, just give me a message down below in the comments area, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.